A real highlight in the Songs of Praise calendar is our annual search to find the junior and senior school choir of the year. For our winners, it's the start of a busy and exciting time. Well, this is Lindley Choir. They're our junior winners, aren't you? Yes! Are you having a good year so far? That's the right answer. This week we'll be finding out what our junior and senior winners have been getting up to as we celebrate the school choirs for 2008. I'll be catching up with senior winners Coventry Bluecoat School when they swap their uniforms for surpluses in Salisbury Cathedral. Chair of the Judges Howard Goodall offers some advice to schools thinking of entering the competition and Lindley Junior School join me to record a very special song for children in need. All our finalists in the School Choir of the Year competition are great choirs, but someone has to win. The moment where I open the gold envelope is always very tense. The Songs of Praise Junior School Choir for 2008 is... Lindley Junior School! Going through my mind was, are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? The applause just battered for ages. It was really, really exciting. And our senior choir is... Blue Coat School! We <laughs> skipped a heartbeat because it was such a shock. <laughs> so we all wanted to win so bad, and I think it was just a relief after everything that we'd actually done it. Deciding who should win was a difficult task for our panel of judges, especially for our chairman, composer and champion of school singing, Howard Goodall. I was a bit taken aback be honest um, but I shouldn't really be that taken about because I know that there are loads of really good school choirs out there and so much of the media and the reporting of young people is negative uh, and having a go at them and saying they're this they're hoodies they're this they're the other and this is one of the opportunities to show young people doing something so well and evidently enjoying themselves I love the feeling between the choirs the way they're all talking to each other and it's just really nice that it's not so competitive that they can't then sing this wonderful hymn together. Junior winners, Lindley School, come from Huddersfield. And they're keeping up the area's great tradition of choral singing by taking over the famous town hall. It's 
the only place we could showcase everybody. So we decided to bite the bullet, hire the town hall and go for it. Miss Watkins always encourages us and it's, she's really nice to us all the time. And any other youth threes on the next row? Good lads, well done. If you ever need help with singing, dun -dun -dun -dun, Miss Watkins is there. If we're a bit down, she says, Can you put some oomph in it? Meanwhile, the head teacher keeps a nervous eye on rehearsals. Miss Thompson, I think she's a bit worried about something could go wrong tonight because she's walking around and if she sees something go wrong, she'll watch it until it, she, she's seen it go right. We encourage everyone to find their voice and to enjoy singing together. And literally, you hear them going around school and singing. It becomes a part of everything that we do. Children are absolutely marvellous when the auditorium is filled with the parents and they really want to do their very best. It'll be fine. Yeah! Super. Well, tonight it's going to be really exciting because there's lots of different adults in, in the audience that haven't really seen us before. As parents, we joke about having little divas around, but they are great. They just rise to the occasion. Even for children that aren't musical, they're not excluded, but... Uh, but I think music's being used as a vehicle to keep everybody involved, really. Everybody loves hearing them sing. It's been really exciting rehearsing during the past few weeks, and we're really excited because tonight's the night.